Go for it. Okay, for the parents and guardians, um, we have uh, two different levels of membership in the Brokaw Blazers. Uh, the first is, is the non-competitive where they just want to come to practice and that's it. They're not going to compete in any meets. Um, that is $50. Uh, all six-year-olds will be lumped into that category unless they can prove to me through practices that they are ready to run with the seven and eight-year-olds. Uh, it's very rare that I allow a six-year-old to participate. Uh, we have had several, but it's very rare that uh, six-year-olds are ready for that. Um, but the second level is the competitive level, and that's $100. Um, we have uh, most of the team that does that. We've had some that started as a $50 membership and then wanted to come to some meets, and then that, that was the $100 membership. $100 uh, includes... Uh, insurance, uh, two shirts, one for the one team shirt and one comp competition shirt uh, that you get as well. Uh, we provide all the uh, racing singlets or tops uh, for the kids uh, as well as shorts if necessary. Most kids prefer to get their own shorts, red shorts. Uh, we don't break our shorts out or break any of our stuff out for the team as far as uh, the uniforms until the Missouri Valley meet. We want to wear them twice a year. Uh, and we collect them and clean them and then do it again for the national meet. Same thing. Um, and we've lost a few over the years, so if you know anybody that has one, please let me know. Um, the non-competitive uh, ones that decide to do the $50 membership, uh, we have those uh, get a long sleeve uh, team shirt and then the team membership uh, includes the insurance as well. Um, hopefully uh, we get most of them to be competitive runners because uh, if, they, if they do a good job and, and they always seem to do a good job, uh, I think they'll continue with it. Um, most everything is on our Facebook page. Uh, We'll put that up uh, along with the website so that you can go on there. Uh, I never get on the Facebook page. I'll let everybody else worry about that. I maintain the website, so that's the most up-to-date info on everything that's happening for a particular week. Um, we'll have online registration this year. You, you'll still also be able to do it at practice, uh, but I, I prefer that you come to practice ready to go. Uh, the very first one, and hopefully most of you will go ahead and uh, do the online portion of it uh, so that we can get this out of the way. And I apologize, we've got to collect the fees for PayPal uh, for that. The other thing that I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody was aware of, um, that uh, the $100 uh, for the competitive runner does not include the entry fee at, at the Missouri Valley meet. It includes the entry fee to every other meet, every other meet. High schoolers joining, depending on when they join, come in at a different, uh, you know, come in at a prorated version. I'll cover that with them when they come, come out. Um, hopefully, hopefully that will give us a better idea of, of and a better way of kind of controlling our exposure with COVID-19 this particular time. Uh, the other thing is with the uh, online registration this year and probably for years to come so that the coaches can figure out who the kids are a little bit quicker. We're going to have each of those uh, registrations include a picture, a JPEG picture less than a megabyte. Uh, for each kid, uh, a picture of them with the caption or the title of it being their name, their full names that we've got that. We are part of the Yes Athletics Youth and Girls Sports Network, uh, and they provide the insurance for all our practices and our meets. Um, I can tell you this, that 
this is about the kids. It's not about you as a parent, it's about the kids. And if those kids um, don't want to do this, I do not want them out there. Uh, let them have fun. Um, again, if I haven't touched on this before, I think the bus ride to the national meet is imperative. Uh, it's the best experience for the kids. Parents usually, uh, some parents go on the bus. Uh, we've got chaperones, we've got all that taken care of. We've been doing this a long time. Four to five buses every year, charter buses going down the road. It's quite the spectacle uh, when, we, when we pull into a place. Everything is very organized. Um, we'll work out the details, some of the parents carpool out there. Uh, and we make arrangements with hotels and stuff to do a lot of that stuff. Um, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to check the website out or Facebook. You can go to Gary Gribbles and typically they'll give you a 10 to 20 percent discount if you'll tell them they're a member of the team. Um, as far as injuries with your kids, uh, please let me know. Uh, I know a few things that might be able to help uh, uh, either eliminate the injury or prevent it altogether. Uh, as far as the schedule, uh, I encourage you to do whatever meets that you can. I do not want you running more than two meets in three weeks, in a three week period. Uh, the longest race the kids will ever run that are eight and under and the age groups are based on their year of birth. So anybody that turns uh, eight by the end of this year or seven uh, will actually be running a 2K race, which is a mile and a quarter. The nine, 10, and the 11 and 12 age group will run a 3K race, which is, if you did it on a track, would be seven and a half laps. The 13 and 14 age group, boys and girls, both run a 4K race, which is about two and a half miles. And then the older kids, our 15, 16, 17, 18 age groups, uh, run a 5K. So they're actually six boys age groups and six girls age groups uh, that we have. Um, and for the younger kids, I do not want you doing any 5Ks as a race without my approval uh, because that can be overwhelming to your system, especially with the training that we're doing, because we want to train smarter, not harder or farther. Um, it's, in, it's imperative that we don't overdo it, um, and work those details out with me if you would, please. <clears throat> I don't mind them doing a 5K every once in a while, as long as they're not racing it. They can use it as a training run. Uh, and we can talk about that later. Uh, again, cost for nationals, uh, it usually runs about $220. That includes everything, uh, the bus fee, uh, the transportation, the lodging, the food, all that stuff is included in that cost as well as the registration for the national meet. Uh, this year's national meet will be in Lexington, Kentucky uh, on the 20. 20th, 20, hold on, 21st of November in 2020. Um, but uh, all those are posted on the website. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask any of the, of the parents that have been here before. Most questions can be found and answered on the website. Uh, and you can always ask on Facebook or ask me in practice. Don't hesitate to call me if you have any questions. Um, the number's on the website, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, I look forward to having you with us this year, and we'll do our best to uh, have fun with the situation. Oh, one last thing, team apparel. Uh, Jeanette Owens uh, has, a, has worked out a deal with her husband Brian and the Jock Snitch, and they do they do a, a uh, order that they do, and that can be found on our website as well. Uh, again, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to let me know, 
and I look forward to having a productive and entertaining, if not enlightening, uh, rest of the year. Uh, welcome to the Brokaw Blazers uh, cross-country season.